See, my microphone's here. Okay, show of hands, guys. No questions. Who's up? Joe. Uh, what did you make of the, uh, the game over the I think we good good afternoon to everybody. I think today we show in the most difficult stadium right now in the world the reason why we are the champions. So one of the most proud performance I ever live as a manager in my career. So in this stadium and nothing to say. Unfortunately, we lost. Congratulations, Jurgen and his fantastic team in Liverpool for the victory 3-1. I think it was a good game for both sides, for the Premier League, for uh, billions of people watch this game. It was a good advertising. Maybe you have to invite Jurgen and myself a bottle of wine for that. Um, uh, yeah, I think we did. We did absolutely. We, we tried. We did it because we cannot expect in Anfield, you know, no concede chances or opportunities for the opposite side. So we create more than ever. So yeah. Quite similar than quarterfinals of the Champions League two seasons ago. First three shoots and target three goals. Today the first two shoots and target two goals. And even with that, the the way we played, because I never forget that game in Champions League, the way we played the second half. And uh, even at home, the way we played the first half, and many, many, many things happened in that game here in a way. Um, I'm so proud. So I like to be manager of these players. Unfortunately, we don't won. We are three teams in front, like they are more chances to win the Premier League than us. But hopefully, we can sustain this uh, mentality and and try it. If yeah, at the end is not enough, we congratulate him, uh, Liverpool or Leicester or Chelsea or whatever, and and move forward for the next season. It felt like you didn't make decisions today. Which decisions? Felt like you didn't get decisions today. I mean, in the first one, we build up to the first goal. Oh, Mike Riley and his people. You have to ask them. Yeah. yeah, it would not be nice after lose, you know. Ask to Mike Riley and the big bosses about that. Don't ask to me. You, your handshake to Mike Riley at the end seemed. You said something like, "Thank you very much." It seemed. Maybe something. No, I was not sarcastic. I was thank you so much. I said the same in Tottenham game when we play at home. Thank you so much. So, or, or most of the times when I went to referees and my colleagues, always I said thank you so much, good luck all the time. Did you feel that the right people to decision? Ask to Mike Riley, please, and his people, not to me. Is that we can't talk to him? Yeah, that, that's the point. That's the point. Um, you talk about the game. I'm not here to talk about the decision, the referee. So, ask to them, my friend. So. All the time we have to come here about every time about the decisions, the referees or VAR, why is one day is hand and another is not hand. Don't ask to me, ask to them. So knock the door, phone call, and maybe they can answer. Don't ask to me, please. Look to the build up to the first goal, the Liverpool score. For the controversy of the, the handball that you didn't get, were you, were you disappointed with your players because there was 22 seconds in between that incident happening and the ball? And the you think the players could have closed them down? We didn't, we didn't give up. The influence in that situation, we keep going and keep going and keep going. So, so it was it was great. Uh, I was great to to play, I'm sorry. So when I the result, congratulations Liverpool. But I know how difficult it is for the opponents to come here and play the way we played. And we did it. We did it better than ever. And that's why he's now is relaxed and of course focus again chassis at home and, and try it again. Can I just ask though that again bar for a minute, did you did you feel you should have had two penalties for Trent Alexander around the and the disturbing incident when Alexander Arnold failed to have the I know the way we were champions last previous seasons. We did everything, so I'm so proud of that. So no, don't, don't, it's, it's uncomfortable for me because it looks like, you know, looks like like uh, Pep complains about it. So congratulations, Liverpool. You know, three one. So it's work about we can solve the second one or the third one or the chances we create to do it. That I would say maybe maybe is not penalty or penalty. We miss the penalty. When it happened as him, I don't know what happened in the future. If it would happen there, if in that moment, if that moment the game happened, we never know what's happening in the future. But in the decision, ask to the big bosses, the guy who understands everything of that game, don't ask to me. So tomorrow go to UEFA meeting for the managers, trainers, and we discuss this, this kind of thing. So 
it's what, what, what can I say? So it will not be nice for our club. We are a club like uh, we start to be in the elite in the last decade, not like Liverpool. Like we will never walk alone. Like it's 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, 60 years. We are new at that. As an organization is going to help us to, to grow. So we need to live these experiences. It's the best way to live because I was in a club like they show me that, they teach me that. Is game, game, what happens is part of life. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it's for us, sometimes it's against, and that's all. Yeah. Us to, but the ref this kind of decisions, us to the, the big bosses. They know more than me. For his stature, he's so tall. No, it's because Mendy, after two seasons uh, injured, when he played one game, for example, the day before, yesterday day before, could not train for some problems. And that's why I decide uh, for, for Angelino. Is that a concern with Mendy still? No, he go to national team. He's not injured, he go to national team now. So we need time, no injury, no injury. At the end, we'll be able to play every three or four days. Obviously, injuries you had make changes in defence goalkeeper, but how much is the constant change affecting the confidence of the Did you see the confidence of the team during the game? It, 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 it happened? No, I don't think so. We play so good. We play so good. Of course, we have a young player like Angelino, Fernandinho is helping us playing in that position for our build-up and John Stones come back for, uh, you know, now is last two weeks training but come for a long long injury I know that so their back four is all the time in the same we have to move it for many reasons so that is what it is but here the proof is how, how you play football in this kind of stages in 80 final champions in qualifiers we we play like we are or or we are not and all the time we came here even Jurgen say no I adapt to him or like this like that I think we play in incredible personality, and uh, and that is, I know tomorrow will be table nine points, but to grow as a club, as a players, to make the next step after two Premier Leagues back to back is do that step, is do really that step in this kind of of places play, in the way we played. Of course, you can improve in many things, but that is part of the process. So. Well, they are it's incredible strong in the set pieces. They are when when you set back and defend in the box, they open with Alexander and Robertson and start to make a crosses when they arrive with with not just with Mane, Salah, Firmino, with Henderson arrive in the right tempo and will Naldum and the second balls. It's almost impossible to leave from that, leave from that situation, big open again and cross again. When you are able to, to get back for that position, they have incredible, uh, incredible uh, backwards. And and when you are attacking, like we try like this, every mistake you can do. The transition they have, the biggest quality from Jurgen in all his career is doing this kind of situation and run and, and making two like the second goal. You decide. You decide before you play. I just stand 90 minutes, uh, set back there, waiting crosses, 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 waiting one counter attack or two counter attack if you are lucky for something from above, or try to to play the game to create chances that we create today, and we decide to do it in that way because it's the way we won two Premier Leagues in a row, seven titles in two, in three seasons, and sometimes the people say, "Oh, we like to watch Manchester City play football." So and sometimes it's playing at home against mm, some teams, but difficult is come here to do it. But I watch a lot of games. The people, the teams can come here to play. They know how difficult it is and the way we do it. Of course, you have to improve, especially in the boxes. See more, more solid. But this sometimes it's not our quality. Hopefully, we can improve in the future. It seems like Liverpool. This is almost their season when your team comes here, plays that well. And it's still a 3-1 defeat. Does it just seem like the little things are small margins? As to Jurgen, I don't know. Nine points is a lot. So one team like uh, like they lost just one game last season. So twelve games, eleven victories, one draw. So nine points is against that team is not easy. But it's in November, and and I don't know. Is this the year or not? My colleague Jurgen can explain. He can explain better than me.
But if your team keeps playing like that, then you will fancy your chances of chasing them down. Uh, we did it more than 24 months doing that. So, but in life, not, not always you can win, you know. And important is is the way you live, the way you are in the in the with problems that we have in under pressure and uh, position against the best team right now in the world, and do it you have do it. So, but we have chances no score. They arrive two two goals. It's not easy. But how we react in that? That is the process you have to learn. For our future, we are ever good. If not, maybe we will need more time, you know. But I don't have regrets. The players know that I'm not happy. I tell them. I don't say here, but them I don't tell them. But today I said in the half time, in the end, heads up, guys. Don't use the social media to say your thoughts about what happened today in some departments. Talk about the football and how good it was for. For you know, I think the game was good for both sides. The guys who were in the stadium and TV, they could enjoy. And maybe one day we will have a chance to win. How, how long is that? Good to go out for? Now I think it's uh, we'll be going to Brazil to recover there. Hopefully when we come back we'll be fit. But but Jurgen said 100% is going to play Ederson, so he could not play. Okay, thank you guys.